Hello everyone! In the video of today I want to demonstrate how to make antimony trisulfide from antimony trioxide. And we are doing this by fusing the antimony trioxide with sulfur. And this I have prepared already here. Here are 100 grams of the white antimony trioxide. And here are 400 grams of sulfur. The sulfur is in excess. So we are just uh, putting this together, mixing it in the blender to have a really mixed up stuff. And then we are going to fire that stuff down. So now it's time for the fusion of the antimony 3 oxide with the sulfur to create the antimony sulfide. Therefore I have my little melting furnace and I will put the, the mixture of the powder here in this little crucible here and yeah then perform the fusion. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not fusing the entire powder at once because it's actually a lot and I'm a little bit afraid that it will boil over. So I will just add uh, about 200 grams at once, do the fusion, then add another 200 grams to the fusion and then add the uh, last 200 grams. Um, yeah, let's try it out and see how it works. see the final product this is the antimony 3 sulfide that we created here actually the white smoke that you have seen is an indication that um, the reaction is done that all the, the sulfur has volatilized and the white smoke was already um, basically antimony oxide getting airborne so when you see the white smoke you know the reaction is finished now I am back in my laboratory and Actually, I ended up with uh, 63 grams of antimony sulfide. I started with 100 grams of antimony oxide, so I guess that a lot or significant amounts of material of antimony did uh, evaporate during the process. That is why it is important to really stop when um, the entire stuff starts to really smoke uh, create a lot of white smoke because that means uh, the antimony is volatilizing. Um, I think that this method is actually superior than a different method that I tried in the past to fuse just antimony metal with sulfur because the antimony metal did convert but it did convert very poor so um, antimony trisulfate was forming but I had still a lot of antimony metal uh, in the final melt, so small of 
small beads and it was kind of difficult to separate it. Yes, um, that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.